Oh my goodness, my hair feels so good and healthy. So I just got back from my daughter's salon and I wanted a color put in my hair. And I have not had color in my hair, you guys, in like six months. And I've been noticing these little grays on top. <laughs> Gotta get rid of those, right? So anyway, yeah, I like it, I like it. When I'm in the sun, you can see little bits of red. It's not picking up on the monitor, but it just feels so good and healthy. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing better than fresh color on your hair, right? I don't know why I never do it. I should probably do it at least every three months. It really feels good. I thought I'd do a little vlog today. I've got some stuff coming up and I just don't have a lot of time. So we're gonna water some flowers. I used to plant so many flowers. You guys, it's so annoying. So I just keep it to a minimum now. So I'm gonna water my flowers and I've got a little something to show you guys. Nothing, nothing to write home about, but a little something that I got that I thought was super cute that I really need to show you guys. Okay, so let's water these out here on the porch. Ooh, it's bright out here. Okay, so I planted these uh, toperies on each side and I put some little flowers here. It'll be really pretty when they get a little bigger for a little pop of color. Let's just give them some water. I water them every day. Usually I water them in the morning, but since I went to my daughter's to have my hair done, I didn't do that. I should, probably should have waited till this evening. But these toperies, they're growing like crazy. It looks like I already might need to trim them. But check out my rose garden, you guys. It's so pretty. They seem like they were later blooming this year. Isn't that pretty? I never promised you a rose garden. They're just beautiful. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that. Those were the pansies. So. Oh, and look at this. Look how pretty. Aren't they beautiful? We've got buttercup overload over here. What a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Okay. So, I need to water the rest of my flowers. And then I will catch back up with you guys. There's my citronella. Keeps the uh, mosquitoes away. And I got this for my birthday from my mom. She actually, she always gives us money and that's what I bought. Isn't that beautiful? It's a really good size. All right. This is like some kind of succulent that comes back every year. Keith likes these here. There's our little hummingbird feeder. We haven't had that many this year. I know. But he likes these flowers here. He says when you look out the window, you can just see the flowers. So it's so, so pretty. And then that's the pool area. Okay, so I have some more toperies out there by the pool that I need to water. Today would have been a great pool day, you guys, but I can't swim. I mean, I can take a shower. Why can't I swim? <laughs> I'm still healing. My arms are so much better. Okay, don't even ask me what this is, you guys. It's Keith's invention, okay? So, he has invented some kind of a system to warm up the pool water. And he, somehow, the water comes into these coils from the pool, and then it goes through these coils, and the sun gets it really hot, and then it goes back into the pool. I've always called, you guys remember that show, MacGyver? Keith, he's an inventor, I swear. My friend was over here the other day and she's like, he, he invented that? I'm like, yeah, and it works. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty these are. You guys, we still don't have it landscaped back here all the way. 
and uh, so we got to work on that. And there's the back of the house, if you guys have ever seen it. That door is missing because when we put cement, did the cement, we had to take the door off because it was, um, it scraped. So Keith said he's actually going to build a door there. And here's our view. And go to the end of the road, right there, is our business. Keith has about a uh, 30 second commute. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we got the new umbrellas and there's still a lot that I want to do out here you guys but I think it's looking pretty good but I just got these pots at Lowe's. Oh hey Gus, where you been? Where you been? Gus, look here. Gus, where you been? Where you been Gus? Gus is enjoying it. Are you enjoying? Are you enjoying being outside Gus? Are you? Gus, you hear him purring? <laughs> I'm spoiled. All right. Oh, and okay. So over here, I need some more mulch over here too. Oops, almost lost my shoe. And um, I just got these little flowers. I don't have it arranged. I just kind of stuck them out here. Might put white rocks out here actually. So for my birthday, my daughter bought me these little bugs. Aren't those adorable? I bought that. And then this little guy, he will not stand up. Stand up. His name's Kermie. Stand up, Kermie. I got these little flowers. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So, oh, and there's the cutest little thing I saw at Big Lots. And it looks like a tree stump. I think I'm going to go back and get it. This is just going to be just a little, just a little whimsical area. Look what a beautiful day. Look at the trees. Look at the movement. Beautiful. I could get a really killer tan out here, you guys, but I'm just not feeling it. You want to go in the house, Gus? Hmm? You hungry? Okay. He goes straight to his food bowl. Did I show you guys my new um entertainment center and cabinets that i got it took me a really long time to figure out what i wanted and keith got this massive tv i think it's 88 86 i don't know how big it is it's massive <laughs> but then i found this cabinet at restoration hardware okay and it looked perfect with the tv let me turn it around okay but then I had these open spaces on each side. It's kind of like that reclaimed wood. And I just really love it. I don't really, I have things in the basement I could bring up here, but I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to my house. So, I don't know, here's some things I got in Greece. Actually, my mom and dad brought that back and that statue. And there's the uh, Acropolis or the Parthenon, rather, and just some books on Greece. That's all I have in there. I haven't really tried to fix it up. Do you guys think I should put some greenery up there? Here's some Bibles, my Bible, my dad's Bible, and I love this. This little moss rabbit, isn't he cute? So I got that um, a little outdoor market. Here's a photograph of me and my dad and my sister. And uh, so yeah. I thought I would show you guys my furniture. I really like it. I really think it's sleek. And that is the ugliest chair ever. But Keith is so attached to that chair, you guys. <sighs> anyway, but I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I think it looks pretty good and I just want to show you guys. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I just stopped filming yesterday because Keith came home. Today makes three weeks since I've had my surgery. And uh, I'm wearing my glasses today because I put my contacts in like three times and my eyes were just burning like crazy. So I just went ahead and took them off. But today, I'm not really planning on going anywhere. Um, I have a uh, sunflower painting class tomorrow here. I have several students coming. So I'm just gonna warm up and paint a couple sunflower paintings. As far as my arms go, they're healing. Underneath my arms 
look much better. The right arm still is the problem, but it, it looks a lot better because I started on a second round of antibiotics. I feel really good, um, not as tired, and yeah, I'm just waiting on some of the soreness to go away, and I go to the doctor on Monday. So there's really nothing else to tell. I'm not 100%, I would say 80%, so that's good. I'm going to clean off my bathroom counter, and okay, so there's all this stuff that I use. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. So I need to clean this mess up right here. So I had like a tray that I had every, I had like a tray that I had everything on. I'm just gonna put all that in a basket. I organized my drawer. You guys, I don't buy a lot of makeup. There's all my lippies. I just don't buy a lot of makeup. It's wasteful because there's no way. I gave my mom a gallon bag, baggie full of products the other day. And there's an eyeshadow palette. I have another large eyeshadow palette here. This drawer needs to be cleaned, you guys. So anyway, I just don't buy a lot of makeup. I feel like it's wasteful. For me it is, and it's not really my thing. You know, it's not my thing, so. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this mess up and then uh, do a little painting. Okay, let me show you what I've been doing. And I'm gonna paint some large rocks as well. So, I've been painting these rocks, like to go in my flower planters, and I have an order for, someone asked me for a bug and a bee. This is the little guy, and this is the little girl. So then I, I spray them, and then I just paint just colorful rocks. But um, that's what I've got so far. And I can paint these if anybody's interested. I can paint large rocks for your garden, and that's what I'm gonna do for my garden. All right, guys, it is Friday, and I just didn't film much yesterday, but Today, I am all ready, and I'm gonna be teaching an art class today. So I have several students coming. I think there's three or four students, I'm not really sure. But I'm ready, and I'll show you my setup. I'm gonna go out to the pool house studio and show you guys my setup, but first, my outfit of the day. Yep, here I am, wearing my artist smock. This is my logo, Art by Paniota with the paint splotches. Of course, I'm still wearing my armbands. So I have these little smocks that everybody puts on during the class. So it should be really fun. And let's go outside and I'll finish setting up and I'll show you guys my setup. Let's go inside. Here we are. All right, here's my studio. So I've got everything set up here with the easels. Paint brushes, paper towels, linseed oil, Gamsel, everything we're gonna need. And then this table always has, uh, we use this table to put uh, refreshments, wine, things like that. They just bring what they want. I have this on their easel. They don't have to do the Van Gogh Starry Night thing but we're gonna do our sunflowers. We're gonna do three sunflowers. And there's my setup. So, they'll be here soon. Okay, let me show you what we painted. I, I didn't take a video during the party, it was just, it's too crazy. So here's what we painted at the party. And I'm quite happy with it, but I'm gonna go back over it and lighten it up. Because when I do these paint parties, I have to paint a painting and go around and help everybody else. So it needs to be lightened up quite a bit. So I'm gonna work on that. And like I said, I did this one the other day so I need to add some of the reds, you know, to bring out the dimension and the 
the painting. So this is what we painted. We had a really good time last night. All right, so I decided, you guys, since this video is just like crazy and all over the place, that this is the video that I'm going to give away the final 4K subscriber giveaway, which is a $50 Nordstrom gift card. Anybody can enter. And if you want to enter this, you must be subscribed. And in the comments, say, enter me, Nordstrom. And I will pick the winner on probably Wednesday, because I'll upload again on Wednesday. Maybe two, no, Tuesday. I'll pick the winner on Tuesday. I'll do a quick announcement on Tuesday, and then I'll have another video up on Wednesday. How about that? So if you guys want to enter, just say, enter me Nordstrom. You have to have Nordstrom in there. So, and then we will see who wins the final 4K. So I gave away four prizes for 4K subscribers. Thank you all so much. Thank you to all of my new subscribers, my new friends. I really appreciate you guys so, so much. And if we get to 5K, I'm not saying I'll give away five prizes, but we'll do another giveaway. So I'd love to give back to you guys because you've given me so much. Okay, so I was gonna show you guys a few things and I thought I would finally show you my arms because I took my, um, I took my binder off for now, but here they are from the front and from the side and there, there it is. It's not so terrible. It still has to heal up quite a bit in the middle, but I'm really happy with them. They still are bruised here and swollen here. This one is a little more ripply, but I don't have any jiggle. I have scars. It's a trade-off, you guys. So see, you can see when I do this that this arm is more ripply, but it's only been three weeks. So I think it looks pretty good. And where's my bio oil? I've been putting this on them. But like I said, I still kind of have an open wound under my armpit on both arms. And I'm really tired today and I have a headache. And I think yesterday the party zapped my energy. So I'm just going to rest today. But this is really good stuff, you guys. It's good for any kind of scar. It's, it evens out your skin tone. This is really good stuff to have, bio oil. So, yeah, this arm looks pretty good. But I'm happy with my results. And like I said, I've had several of you to say that you've thought about doing this. And, you know, I feel like, you know, in the end, I'm going to be really happy with my results because I am going to do micro needling and get back in the gym. You know, you can't just have something done and you know, that's it. I need to work on myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I thought I'm comfortable enough now that it's healed up enough now that I can share with you guys. So there's no jiggle. And really, everybody's like, I didn't think your arms were big anyway. It's not that they were. They pretty much looked like this all along. I feel like this one's a little bigger. But anyway, <laughs> um, I just had some loose skin. And like I said, it is a trade-off for the scar or the loose skin. I'll take the scar. I'm not a private person about things like this. I, I like to share and you know, answer questions. So if you guys have any questions, just, you know, message me or leave it in the comment section below. So I need to show you guys something really fast. Now you remember my adorable, my coach wallet. I love it, you guys. It's perfect because it's not super compact, you know, about like that, but it's in between the zippy. This just seems to be the perfect size wallet. And at some point I might get a zippy, you know, like a smaller one, but I'm just really, really happy with this. So I put all of my stuff in here and I love it. T, I love this wallet. 
I hope yours came. I really do. Um, but I went on, I got it off eBay. I told you guys. And then I went, I had to have the little matching. I had to have the little matching pouch. Look how cute. Ah, so cute. Do you guys know, are there more pieces? I'm sure there are more pieces to this collection. I would love to have them. I'm sure this is a discontinued collection, but I'm gonna go on the hunt. I think I'm gonna go on the hunt today for more pieces. And so I got that this week. What else did I get? Oh, I got this cute tea. Winnie, you're gonna love it. Got this off Amazon. I will link it. How cute is this? Louboutin. I don't have any Louboutins, but I got a Louboutin tea. <laughs> so I thought, oh, and it's so soft, so super soft. So I'm looking at the monitor right here. I'm really swollen at my elbows, you guys. I just threw that in. Okay, so I got two swimsuits off Amazon. And they're two pieces, um, but they have the high you know, the high waist. That way you can hide things. <laughs> so here's the bottoms. And they're ruched. I'm not about to model them, you guys. Um, these are, this is a medium cup she. Anyway, and I tried it on, it fits. So this is a medium. So it's got the striped bottom with the ruching. And then the top is it's kind of a burgundy wine color with a little ruffle. So really, you know, it will hide quite a bit. And this is a comfortable two piece that I can wear on the beach with my family and not feel so exposed. So this is really cute. So I got this one, this one. I love mis mismatched um, swimsuits. And then I got this one, look at these bottoms. And they're also ruched. Ooh, that's really pretty. And then a bright red top, kind of the same. Now this top is a medium. I'm, I haven't tried it on yet. This is looking a little iffy, you guys, but I I think I can do it. <laughs> I think I can fit the girls in there. Yeah, because it ties. So if not, I will exchange it for a large, but this one's a medium, I tried it on, and this one's a medium. But you don't want a swimsuit that's way too big. So anyway, how cute is this? So, you guys know that I love costume jewelry, and just because it's Louis Vuitton or Chanel doesn't mean it's better than something like Coach. So, I found this piece um, on Nordstrom, and I'll link it, and I hope they still have it. It is a necklace, because I've been looking at the Christian Dior uh, chokers, and you guys know how much those are. They're like $700. Okay, check this out. This is coach one side is silver and the other side is gold hang on and it's got the c's does this not does this not look like the christian dior choker i'm like i really wanted it but i didn't want to pay that much and i saw this and i love the fact that it's gold and silver on one side and I went back and I ordered the bracelet. And I think the bracelet's chunkier. It hasn't come yet, but it has shipped. Because I love it. Ooh, I think it's so fun. Look at that. So pretty. You guys don't look at me. I look rough today. But anyway, isn't that pretty? So I can't wait to get the bracelet. And it was on sale. Oh, I took the tags off. I'm not sure how much it was, but I'll link it below. I hope they still have them. I always link everything I can find. Sometimes I can't find them. And especially with coach items, you guys, they sell out so fast. So if you see it, grab it. You can always send it back. But yeah, if you see it, grab it. But this right here, I love this little set so, so much. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. I will see you guys Tuesday. I will announce the winner of the giveaway Tuesday. And then I'll be back again on Wednesday next week. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.